This is a Unify Express, a small and sleek device that comes with a full Unify networking stack and manages and protects your entire network. It's a router, a security gateway, a Wi-Fi access point. Yes, that's all in this little box here. It was sent to me by Ubiquiti for review. And as this is my very first Unify device ever, I want to tell you my honest and humble opinion as somebody who is entirely new to their system. And what I can say right away, this Unify Express here is an outstanding device for small home or business networks. For me, it was probably the best way to get started with Unify as it gives me tons and tons of options how to use it and it is super simple. Let me show you. First, let's discuss some of the specs. It is powered by USB-C and has two network interfaces, a 1 gigabit LAN port and a 1 gigabit WAN port. It comes with built-in Wi-Fi 6 using 2x2 MIMO, supporting 2.4 and 5 gigahertz, and it can handle up to 60 Wi-Fi clients all at one. So that's pretty impressive for such a small device. It also has this little LCD screen where it displays the network status in real time, as well as how many clients are connected to your network. That really looks so cool. And furthermore, it can manage up to four additional Unify networking devices when it's operating in gateway mode. So that uh, basically means when you're connecting the WAN port to your uplink and your clients to the LAN port. Uh, but you can also mesh it together with other Unify Express devices or set it into access point only mode. So when you want to use it, in an existing network. Now, I'm not sure whether you are already experienced with other Unify devices or not. They, by the way, have many exciting and professional devices like gateways, firewalls, access points, switches or cameras, and they are all well integrated into the Unify networking stack. For me, as I said, this is my very first Unify device ever. And I mean, I've worked with several other brands before, both in the home network space, but also in the professional enterprise field, as some of you might no, and uh, this device here is uh, somewhere positioned in the middle. It is not a full blown enterprise security gateway, but you should not underestimate this as it has some very compelling features and it is great for managing a small home network or even protecting small and medium sized business networks. We'll cover some of those advanced features here in a few minutes, but first I just want to show you how I've installed it and set it up as a new gateway in my existing network. Installing the Unify Express is very simple. Once you unpack it, you just need to plug in the included USB-C power supply and connect it to your uplink on the WAN port. Because it has Bluetooth on board, you just need to download the Unify app on your smartphone. And once you plug in the Unify Express, it should be immediately detected. Even for someone who is entirely new to it, it is all made super intuitive. But you don't have to use your phone. You can also set up this device from any computer on the network. Just connect your switch to the LAN port or do the initial setup on your phone and then connect your client over Wi-Fi. It automatically configures a 192.168.1.0 network. So you just need to connect with your browser to the gateway's IP address and then you're logged in to the web dashboard. And that basically gives you all the same features as the Unify app, just on a wider screen. Don't forget to go into settings and enable dark mode. <laughs> really love that. And then you can start configuring your device, like changing network settings, set up firewall policies and rules. We'll dive into some of those settings and what you can do with this device here in a minute. I just have one more thing to say about the configuration or the administration of this device, because during the setup process, it asks you to sign in with your Unify account. And even though you can set it up and use it without an account, I would absolutely recommend you to do that because it allows you to see and manage it from remote using the Unify Site Manager. This, by the way, also works with any other Unify devices, which is great for me because when I decide to use some other products in the future and I like to manage them all in one place, I don't need to think about, so how do I configure remote access or worry about IP addresses and so on. I can just connect to the Unify Site Manager from anywhere. And I know for some people who like to do it on their own and control everything, sure, you still have the option to not connect it. But I think the Site Manager is a pretty big plus and it makes remote management of your network simple, secure and convenient. 
Now, let me walk you through some of the basic settings in this web UI before we dive a little deeper into the security features and advanced networking settings, because I think this Unify Express has a great balance between simplicity and advanced features that you would expect from a security gateway. Uh, for example, on the left side, you can get more information about the device itself, such as WAN IP, gateway IP, system uptime or internet connection. And on the right side, it gives you a deeper insight into the entire network. For example, you can get upload and download based on traffic or website. So it can actually identify applications based on network patterns, which is pretty cool. And we will have a closer look at that in a few minutes. But it will also show you all the connected Wi-Fi devices here, which active channels the device has. Uh, what are the most active clients and what actually do they download? What do they upload? And you get some cool and detailed graphs of your internet activity, which is really great for a home network. Now, what is also nice is the topology tab. And as you can see, this is currently not very exciting here because I just have a small network with the Unify Express and one client connected. But if you would have a bigger network with many other Unify devices like access points, switches, and so on, they would all show up here in this menu and you get a great overview of how is the traffic flow uh, from your gateways to your actual clients, how many clients are connected, how many access points and so on. So this is really great if you're managing a bigger network. And I think we will need to come back to this in the future when I got some more Unify devices for testing. Of course, you can also see and manage all the connected Unify devices that are managed by the Unify Express here. In my network, it's just the Unify Express itself, of course, but it is great for central management of other devices and access points. You can also get more insight into the actual clients. You get the IP addresses, you can see download, upload, and for how long they are connected. And when you click on this, it will also show you more insight into the actual Wi-Fi connections. So how good is the signal? What type of standards are these devices using to connect to the Unify Express? And what is the overall latency and yeah, download and upload. So really nice. If you go into the settings menu, this is where you can configure all the networking and security features of your Unify Express. For example, in the Wi-Fi menu, you can add new SSIDs or change existing Wi-Fi networks, such as configuring the name, password, or some general Wi-Fi settings, such as the security protocol. You can see it supports up to WPA3 Enterprise, or enable and disable Wi-Fi bands, for example, 2.4 or 5 gigahertz, depending on what uh, type of band you're using. Uh, but it also has some really nice advanced security features for Wi-Fi networks and sometimes professional environments such as hotspot portals, uh, a client device isolation, which is great in public Wi-Fi networks where you need to protect the clients from each other, set up proxy ARP or fast roaming, uh, set up Wi-Fi speed limitations, add MAC address filtering or configure radius authentication, which is great for some professional environments. Or set up a Wi-Fi scheduler so you can enable or disable some SSIDs based on date and time, which can be very useful in some environments. What I really love about this is that for most of these settings here, even if you don't know what they are actually doing, Unify has small information icons that give you some short explanations on what this setting is actually about. And I really love this because then you can configure it all from that menu. You don't need to look it up somewhere in the documentation. This is really a great user experience. Let us also go through some of the general networking settings. So here you can create more networks. So you can change IP addresses. You can even configure content filtering. So this seems to be pretty uh, nice for blocking malicious content, phishing content. You can set up two profiles based on work or family profile. And of course you can configure se uh, settings like the DHCP server, set up D uh, DHCP relays, uh, configure the ranges, or even set up some advanced D uh, DHCP service settings. No, what I really like, and I don't know if most of the other networking devices have such a feature, it can also auto-scale networks. So, of course, you can manually set up uh, an IP address range and a subnet mask, but you can also set up auto-scale, so I assume that will expand the network when it is needed. So, if you have more than 254 usable host uh, addresses, I don't know if that's true for your home network, at least it's not for mine, but in any professional environments where you have multiple Wi-Fi clients and they are frequently changing, 
You probably want to enable this so you don't run out of IP addresses. So a pretty useful feature that you don't need to take care of that yourself. What also might be interesting to show is the internet tab. So here you can configure all the WAN ports of your Unify network. As I said, the Unify Express only has one WAN port. So when you click on that, you can actually configure how the device connects to the internet. And here you can just set it to automatic so it will figure out on its own how it connects to a device. Usually when you connect that to an existing network that has a DHCP server, it just uses DHCP client to give this a dynamic IP address and then connect it. But you can also configure it manually, set up VLAN IDs for, for example, some internet or ISP providers use that sometimes. You can also enable some other advanced settings here, dynamic DNS and so on. And you can configure an IPv4 or IPv6 configuration. For IPv4, you have three different options. Use a DHCP client, set a static IP address to your Unify Express on the WAN port, or use PPPoE. So you can also use it with a DSL connection. And this is really great to fully replace my home router, for example. Well, so now let's come to the part that actually interests me the most, the network security features. And to be honest, I was really surprised by how many security features this small device actually has. Because as you might know, a network is just as secure as you configure it. So it's really depending on how many security features do your network devices provide you and how well do you do the configuration. Because the best security devices mean nothing when you just leave everything open. So let's have a close look at what you actually should enable to, to give you the best protection for your network. First, let's talk about VPNs, because Unify Express comes with a wide range of supported VPN protocols that you can use to securely connect to your network or connect your network securely to any remote network using other VPN gateways. First of all, it supports Teleport, which is Unify's proprietary zero configuration remote access VPN protocol, Ooh, that's a long name. <laughs> so it's really simple. You just need to enable it, set, a, set up an invitation link, and then download the Wi-Fi Man app on your device, which is supported on macOS, iOS, or Android. And then it just magically works. You don't need to set up firewall rules or configure anything else. It just securely connects your devices to your Unify network. Really simple. But you can also use it to set up common VPN protocols like a WireGuard server, which is really great because you usually don't see that in most of the professional network security gateways, so really nice. But of course, it also supports OpenVPN or L2TP for remote access from clients to your Unify Express device. But you can also configure the Unify Express itself as a VPN client. For example, if you want to establish a secure connection to other VPN gateways such as WireGuard servers or OpenVPN servers. Of course, for secure side-to-side -side connections, mostly using IPsec, it also gives you tons of options here. So it supports IKE version 2. And you can configure all the common protocols and encryption standards. So you actually have a good support on connecting with other uh, IPsec security uh, gateways from any other vendors or brands. You just need to configure it the right way to match the remote gateway security settings. So it really gives you all the industry standards that you actually need to configure side-to-side -side connections or set it up as a client or as a VPN server. But of course, Unify Express also comes with other advanced security features because as you might remember from the dashboard, the Unify Express is able to identify traffic based on the application patterns it sees on the network layer. And what you need to configure this is you just need to go to settings, security and enable traffic identification. And then you can go into the traffic rules and block, allow or set up speed limits for certain application or application groups. For example, if I'd like to block any application, I could just go in here and select the app. You can scroll through that uh, menu here or just search for, for example, uh, Microsoft Teams. If I would want to block Microsoft Teams on my network, click on save and then select the device or network. You can set up this for the entire network or maybe just for my MacBook if I want to block Microsoft Teams on my MacBook for whatever reason. <laughs> and maybe I can also set up this on specific days or on specific times. Uh, but you can also configure that in a different way. For example, if you go to app groups, so here you can block certain groups of applications such as social networks, online gaming, instant messaging, 
and many, many other categories here. And of course, you can always configure that based on the device or on the network. So that might be very useful in professional environments if you want to protect your clients from certain uh, traffic sources or you want to control certain applications in your business network or maybe in your home network. I could also think about many use cases. For example, if I just want to block TikTok on my son's iPhone, I could actually do that. <laughs> I know, I'm a nasty dad. <laughs> but you can also do that in a much simpler way. So for example, if you go to the dashboard and you enable traffic identification, it will show you the most used uh, applications in the network. Or you can go on any client, for example, on my iPhone, and go to insights. And then it will also show you all the applications in here. And you can simply just click on block the app. For example, if you want to block uh, TikTok on my phone, I could just click on that. And this will take you to the traffic rules menu where you can configure a permanent traffic rule that applies to your selected uh, criteria. Now, this is really nice. And honestly, I haven't expected to see such a feature in this small device. It's really nice. But of course, you can also create those traffic rules based on domain names if you want to block certain websites or IP addresses, regions. So it gives you tons and tons of options to create secure policies and control the traffic on your network. What I also haven't tested, but I think this could be very useful, is the ad blocking feature in here. So note, this filter can be bypassed by using encrypted DNS or client-specific privacy features. So if you want to use that, you need to make sure that you disable the DNS over HTTPS feature on the client's browsers. But it could be useful in some scenarios. Of course, you can also add port forwardings if you want to create simple SNET or DNET rules. So, for example, if you have a local web server and you want to actually forward the incoming traffic on the WAN port to the local IP address, you can create a simple DNET rule that forwards traffic from any source on the port 80 and 4 for free to the local IP address of your web server, for example. Or you can create firewall rules that allow drop or reject traffic. If you want to create a new firewall rule that, for example, blocks internet access for a specific client, you first need to select the type of the firewall rule. So this criteria defines which direction on the network this firewall rule should apply to. For example, internet out in this case, block web traffic. And then you can select the port uh, TCP and UDP, for example. You can select the entire network or maybe just one single IP address in here, for example, 52. And then block the port 80 and port 4 for free to any destination or maybe just specific IP addresses and groups. As you can see, you can very granularly define so what you want to allow and what you want to block, such as you would expect it from a network security device. So I hope you got a great overview of the Unify Express. I think this device is pretty cool. I'm not sure whether it will replace my current networking setup because as you might know from my other videos, it is already pretty well equipped. However, I think it could be really nice as an additional access point or maybe I'm replacing my dump home router with it. Anyway, I'm really thrilled about experimenting more with Unify devices in the future and seeing how they all working together. Please let me know in the comments. So what do you think about Unify Express or Unify devices in general? And whether you would like to see future videos for home lab people and tech enthusiasts, make sure to give this one a like and subscribe. And as always, thanks everybody for watching. I will catch you in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.